Hey, what's up guys? I kind of missed you. Today I wanted to show you how we built this kitchen island out of reclaimed wood. So this all started about a year ago when a friend of mine told me that there was a house in town that was condemned and it was gonna be torn down. So we got permission from the owners to see if there was something inside that we could reclaim and use. So I walked around the place and it was pretty awful. It definitely wasn't worth saving. But I liked some of the flooring that was in there. Someone had kind of painted it blue and it gave the wood some character. So I started pulling it up and Richard came along to help. And in this video, I'll show you how to reclaim wood floors. We ended up with a nice pile of flooring, but I wasn't sure where we were gonna be able to use it yet. We had just started to remodel the island house, and I knew we'd use it somewhere in here, but I wasn't sure exactly where. Maybe an accent wall and a bathroom, or build some furniture out of it. So I organized it into a nice neat little pile, and I stuck it in the porch behind my shop. The island house remodel was progressing and it was time to decide on the layout for the kitchen island. I need to put a X on the floor where we're going. Put the, put the so we got on house and started looking at ideas. And we knew we needed a lot of seating. At first I was leaning towards a Scandinavian design. Kind of a modern Euro look. And I really liked this one. But as it got closer to decision time, I started getting cold feet. It was really outside of our normal style range. I tend to like a rustic, sort of industrial look. So I met back up with our buddy Lon. Lon! Hey, what's happening, buddy? What's up, man? He does our cabinets for us, and he was in both of the River Builds pilots. His Louisiana River Builds. By the way, the River Builds show is over. The network passed on it, so there won't be any more episodes. I'll tell you the whole story at some point in a video because it's actually pretty interesting. So anyway, I met up with Lon and he came up with a really smart layout for a kitchen island that would give everyone sitting there a nice view of the lake. So we mapped it all out on the kitchen floor and I figured this kitchen island would be a great place to use some of that reclaimed wood. To build the kitchen island, we had to start with the box. And when you have a friend with a CNC machine, it makes that pretty easy. So Lon put it all in the CAD software and we got to see what it looked like in a 3D model. The computer then just told Wally what to do and Wally cut it out and the box was assembled. It was kind of like magic. We got the reclaimed wood over to the cabinet shop and it was just like laying floor at that point and Lon handled up on that. For the bench seats, I stopped by Rustique's. That's a shop in town that has several warehouses full of reclaimed lumber. And I found some wood that was pulled from the floor of an 18 wheeler bed. It was very roughed up and had a lot of stains and gouges and scrapes. There was a lot of honest heavy wear and I really liked that look. It was pretty dark, but we sanded it down to bring out some of the grain again and it started looking really nice. So then it was just a matter of putting the pieces in place and deciding on table and counter material. For the tabletop, we chose something we got to test out on the River Builds pilot called Bubachi. Uh, what's Bubachi, you ask? Well, I'll let Lon tell you. This stuff is a laminated beach wood. It's called Bubachi panels. It's a way that they can recycle their waste. Uh, it's better for the environment, and it makes a really strong countertop. I used some of our reclaimed wood in the River Builds pilot so I could see what Bubachi and our reclaimed wood look like together. It turned out nice. Bubachi has a nice look, kind of like butcher block. It almost looks like uh, butcher block. Butcher, kind of. this, exactly. And we ended up using Bubachi on the downstairs bar and on the stair treads in this island house. And then for the countertop, we decided on a honed granite. I felt like a high polished granite would look sort of funny with all this reclaimed wood. And so we ended up with a one of a kind kitchen island that was a true group effort. And it really works great in this space. And I'll leave you with a few close ups of the kitchen island.
All right, is everybody gone? Okay, there's just a few things I wanted to tell you about that are pretty exciting. This will be the first time in two years that I can come into a spring without having to mess with the river build show. So I'll be free to do my own projects and kind of get back into doing what I was doing before that whole disruption happened. I want to get back to my stop motion and doing fun, smaller projects, which are better for YouTube stuff anyway. I feel like I'll have a lot more creative energy and time on my hands now that I'm not having to mess with that stuff. I'll also be taking a break from running the social media for ProDrive, which is a great little boat company here in Louisiana. They're friends of mine, and I've been sort of making videos for them for the past year or so. Uh, I mean, if you wanna see any of the 120 plus videos I've made for them over the past year, you can check it out in the description. I'll put links to everything in there. And finally, it's that time of year again where the weather starts getting cold and I start to disappear off into the woods. So we're packing right now to go to Alaska in about two weeks and we should have some really cool duck hunting stuff on the Louisiana Wetlands channel this season. So anyway, my life in the spring will be much more my own. So stay tuned and feel free to follow along on Instagram and on the Louisiana Wetlands platforms over the next few months. So I'll see you in the spring. Thanks guys and we'll see you next year.